So, a few weeks ago, when I was just below 2k subscribers, I asked y'all to hit me up with some questions for the 2k Q&A special video. That one's this one. I asked y'all in videos, in the Discord, and on the Twitter machine. This gives me even more of a chance to interact with you guys on a bit more of a personal level. So over in my little corner of the internet, we have, uh, first up, the meme producer, Jordan250. Not a question, but I couldn't resist showing this one. He's produced such works of art as Knights of the Beckfist Table, featuring yours truly and Irate Bear, the Weibo Train That Could, and How to Train Your Weibo, featuring, again, yours truly and Scrap Light. Check him out at axjack88 for some top quality tech. Good to see you've acquired so many minions. Did you hear that, guys? You're minions. Thank you from Sir Keck of Garbage. I have two questions. One, why are you a ginger? And two, can you stop being a ginger? All jokes aside, that's the way the cookie crumbles. And no, I've taken too many souls. This is a full-time gig now. Can't back down. I have made a blood oath, sold my dignity to the devil. I would have sold my soul, but such is the nature of gingers that we don't have souls. Oh well. From Minding Freedom, we have, congrats, weebs, you deserve it. What is your favorite video game? So I'm gonna go old school and say Galaga. That man is playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. In my prime, I made that game my little bitch, but I also like Skyrim. Something about the concept of dragons and swords and old timey shenanigans that just gets my loins in a fritz and my fingers in a twist. This next one is from Nexco. Robot arms or robot legs? Legs, because that, that, then I could be taller. And then, yeah, no, my life would just be easier. Samuel asks me why I exist. Well, that's a good question, because my parents decided to have sex one day. Harry Dementis asks, do you want two people to unsub from you so you can be at 2,000 exactly? Even if that were the case, it would be a little too late. I'm already at 250 subs into 2K. Oh, well. Lenny Stanfield asks, how would you feel about your boyfriend calling you shorty on a regular basis? Oh, Lenny. What makes you think that he doesn't already do that? <laughs> Y'all think I haven't heard the midget jokes and Oompa Loompa comparisons? Boyfriend has been doing it well before and so much more brutally. Yeah. Not to mention, my entire family does that exact same thing. It's not a new concept. Over here from Anime Night 99, do you play PUBG? And if so, have you ever played with Repsion? No and no, but you know, maybe someday. If we were to play PUBG together, he would have to, he would, he would have to be okay with the fact that there's an adjustment period where I'm throwing the controller and screaming obscenities at the TV because that's just how I do. I get kind of animated while gaming, it's kind of a problem. Nicholas Davis asks, Are there rumors of you being a trap reel? Goin... Goincock asks, Will you make a video about Muslims and Islam in the future? Sure, I will. No topic is off limits to me. From Stunlock Joe, Will you ever get tired of this? And then there's a little gif of... Dick kicking Damien's ass. I never will. Dick and Hockey punch that little shit kid till the cows come home. <laughs> it brings me such joy. Usually I'm a pacifist, but watching the OG Robin beat up this whiny little bitch gives me such a happy boner. Fat Matt Riddles asks me, who's your favorite non-anti-SJW YouTube creator? Now that's an excellent question, and I have to say, it depends on what I'm looking to enjoy. There's awesome time. Hey everyone. You think I like doing that to you? Why was I just smacked? Because you have questioned. Who's who's funny as fuck, but hasn't made a video in forever. Where has Awesome Time been for the last few months? Is this channel dead? What's going on? You ask too many questions and that's what happens. You get smacked. Some YouTubers pretend to love their audience, I smack mine around. It's called playing hard to get, and it works. Look, I'm going into year three of university now. I'm getting older. I'm becoming a man. I'm wrinkly in places I was never wrinkly before. You know what? Let me show you my testicles. See, look at that. Look how wrinkly that font is. It becomes underlined when I'm aroused, too. Who I watch whenever I want my nihilism to be legitimized. There's the, um, Bellark Journey, which is for when I get 
the overwhelming urge to cry over the fact that one of my OTPs hasn't happened yet, and it's been four whole seasons, and they've been building the tension between the two characters, and- Holy fuck, don't watch The 100, it will ruin your life. This is worse than Ross and Rachel. When I want to rip into a cinematic masterpiece because I'm a sadistic fucking can't enjoy content without picking it apart, Simpsons or Honest Trailers, that's the way to go. We're not reviewers or assholes. Hate makes us stronger. We're like demons in a Ghostbusters movie. I could go on, but you get the point. From Yurashima Otaru, what country would you like to spend a month in? Probably Poland. Get in touch with my Polak roots, eat some stuffed cabbage rolls, maybe meet some of the distant relatives that weren't genocided, eat some maybe guamki, who knows. Fat Platypus asks, are you a trap? Are you a trap? Quill asks, would you boink a trap? Depends, is that trap my boyfriend? Ladaga asks, what are your future plans for videos? Well, I have several. There's the anti-SGW diss track volume 2, which is currently in the making, no spoilers, but also why are you a trap? Quill again, have you come to terms with your trapness? Zelothor the Blind asks, what are your thoughts on Funtanari? The fuck's a Funtanari? The Japanese word for hermaphrodism, which is also used in the broader sense of androgyny. Is that another trap question? I feel like that's a trap question. Quill again, are Funatari traps? Ask him the real questions, boy oh boy. Quill asks, Weebo Jones, do you have Nightwing's dick in a box under your bed? Do I have Dick Grayson's dick in a box? It's called Inception. Let me check. Fritz asked, would you break up with your boyfriend if you could bring Nightwing to life? Oddly enough, no. Nightwing belongs with Starfire. That is all. I could never get in the way of my one true OTP. Quill again with the traps question, what percentage of a trap are you? You asking me to do math now? I have boobs. I cannot do complex mathematical equations. I, be I belong in the kitchen. The Adrenal asks, what do you think about the political situations in Europe at the moment? Also, outside of politics, what are your thoughts on Norway in general? Well, I would say, y'all fucked. And get out, move to Poland, but Poland ain't about that life, boy. Poland has proven that introversion works. Poland has figured shit out. Figured out a long time ago that foreigners are assholes. When the Germans invaded, you think France would've caught on to that. Oh, my petite baguettes. Come here and learn about the franco prussian War, World War I, World War II, and why we should have immigrants. Blah, blah, blah. But no! Obviously comical over the top xenophobia aside. As for Norway, I have to look up what's going on on Norway. Norway, to pay men and women's soccer teams equally after men agree to slight pay cut. Norway, you cucked. Quill asks me, and this one is not about my perceived trapness, this time, why is the left trying to normalize pedophilia? That's a good question. And it has a myriad of potential answers. It's likely a combination of it's okay, an influx of outsider cultures that don't have the same understanding of why in fact we need an age of consent, a misunderstanding of what exactly consent entails, by those cultures, a guilt complex that, by its very nature, calls for the respect and systemic acceptance of every cultural quirk, including the concept of pedophilia. The studied delegitimization of the DSM-5 via the simple logic that, well, homosexuality was in there at one point, and you know what? So is gender dysphoria, so it must be full of other things that aren't legit mental disorders mentality. The idea that morals aren't universal across cultures, and that we just shouldn't have fucking any.
Oh, and that idea that personal individuality and autonomy only matters when it doesn't make any sense. Like, this person's a Nazi because they vote Republican, but this child can consent because he is just a little bit more mature than other kids his age. That should be taken into account. If we're talking about female teachers getting away with sexy time with their male students who are underage, it's because pussy pass coupled with victim blaming mentality of, oh, he's a boy, so you can't victimize penis individuals because they're a demographic in power and they probably want it because, you know, hyper masculine sexuality, patriarchy, toxic bullshit, fuckery. It could be any number of reasons, and it could be a combination of any number of those reasons. This could be its own video on its own, to be honest. From Lotica, do you boobs? Yes. Next question. Quill again. Thoughts on Playboy and sex workers. So long as everyone involved consents and is fully aware, I have absolutely no issues. I will say this though, Hugh Hefner was a god. He single-handedly held up the Kleenex industry. It's sad to see him go. Q&A video. Well, first of all, congrats on 2k subscribers. Thank you. Now for the question. As our culture shifts and changes towards this sense of hedonistic self-indulgence that we all seem to be focused on with the decline of religious institutions, do you think the idea of heterosexuality will disappear completely, especially in women? What I mean is, as more and more women divert attention away from the family and from settling down and spend more and more of it thinking about themselves, they just seem to become more and more bisexual. Is the straight girl going to be a thing of the past someday? God, I hope not. I really like dick, Grayson. I really feel like I should make a video on this one too, but I, to, to simplify the answer to like 30 seconds for you, I'm gonna have to expand your question a bit. As our culture shifts and changes towards this sense of hedonistic self-indulgence that we all seem to be focused on with the decline of religious institutions, I would endeavor to add that this behavioral adjustment stems not necessarily solely from the decline of religious institutions, but also includes key factors such as overstimulation of the population, overpopulation at its core, a pronounced sense of importance in the individual over the general good of the community due to a substantial decrease in interaction with anyone outside of your personal small bubble. Or to put it bluntly, the basic fact that we're not getting the important interaction on the daily that helps us empathize with others. All of these things increase your levels of narcissism. Do I think heterosexuality will subside completely? No, I don't. And here's why. We pass on our values, some of our behaviors, and what have you on to the next generation in our line, namely our children. Now, if such people don't value family and they value themselves over everything, it makes no sense for these people to go and have children, so they likely won't, because that would contradict their ideals. Meaning that overall, save for the few outliers that enjoy contradiction, their ideals won't be passed on to the next generation, and subsequently these views will subside for a time, slowly but surely. Draven Musket, who asks the age-old question and all questions of how I got my name, I will say this. It involved an avocado, nail polish remover, a mustachioed Frenchman, and a flock of pigeons. If you like my content, please consider supporting me on Patreon or investing in the Teespring store. If you like my content, but not necessarily that much, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Mustache. Oh my god! You can suck my pixie dick! My orchestra skills and normal bounce. Ooh, this is this is a spicy hot take, gentlemen. Ha ha! Arts and crafts with weeb. <laughs>